hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so today for you guys i have my pbc sale haul this haul includes shops that are have both etsy like websites and shopify websites so this sale i went in with a plan me personally if i don't have anything to buy and the sale is going on i will literally like look at every shop to find something to buy and it often ends up in me spending more than what I actually wanted so this time around what I did was I shopped from the shops that I did want stuff from and I shopped from the shops that I like kind of you know were thinking about buying stuff from every single day but like I only purchased like one a day or something like that so that even though you know I was purchasing from these sh shops I purchased across the whole weekend so that I could actually you know like feel excited because I'm participating but not spend a lot of money so that's what I did this time I got stuff from like six or seven shops but not all the shop stuff that I got is here I think I'm missing one more order but because it's you know this it's gone on for a long time I just went ahead and get all the stuff that actually did come and I'll just put that one separate in another video with other haul stuff so that I don't have to wait and like have these all sitting in just bags and stuff waiting for me to haul it because as you'll see in another haul after this one I kind of bought the same item twice because I didn't I forgot that I had gotten it already so yeah that's what happens when you just wait and do an Etsy haul and when everything else comes in so yeah I guess I'll go ahead and stop rambling so this won't be a long video and let's get into the haul so before I go ahead and start with my first shop I just want you guys to know if you can't hear a fan in the background that's just because it's hot I live in Georgia and we all know how hot it gets in Georgia and in the south in particular so yeah if I can't have my air conditioner on I'm gonna have a fan on so I don't burn up in my room so that's just a warning or a side note for you guys so before I go ahead and start with the shop again, I just want to say you're welcome. Yeah, you're probably like, for what? But I typically don't take my washi out the packaging if I buy it from like Simply Gilded or someone else that's online. I typically let it stay in the packaging until it's first use. But for the sake of this video and so you guys could actually see it without the, you know, the glare of the packaging, I took it off. So what else can I say except you're welcome <laughs> if you know what movie that came from then you know how childish I am but anyway there we go so it did come with this po it's not a postcard but it's like I don't know a journaling card is it's what these are and it doesn't have anything on the back but it says you jelly and it has a jellyfish and I don't know why I did that because it's gonna take me a long time to get it up but it has a silver foil to it and I absolutely love this I think it's super pretty and super cute so super excited to put this somewhere in like my a5 or my personal so here on to the glory of the haul I'm trying to collect as many like bow washies as I can because I think they're very pretty and of course you can't find them anywhere else besides simply gilded and they go with a lot of things because they're so like simple in design so I've just been on the hunt of trying to collect the ones that I don't have because you gotta catch them all, right? I'm not a Pokemon fan, but I know when you've gotta catch all of something. <laughs> so the first one I got here is this, um, it's like a lavenderish purple and it has a holographic foil that's kind of confetti-ish. I wish it was kind of pulling up better on camera because it looks kind of washed out. doesn't look purple on camera. Let's see. This is as purple as it's going to get for you guys. So as you can see, it is holographic and you can see all the different colors. And that's maybe why it's not really pulling up purple because it's got all the colors on it. But it is a purple like washi. Let's see. It looks just like that. It's very pretty. And you're going to see another one of these in like another haul because... This is one of the things that I was eyeing in her shop, but I forgot that I had purchased it during the PVC sale, so I bought it again. <laughs> Funny story, but yeah, that's why you always remember what you buy. The next one here is upside down. It is her, like, baby pink washi with the um, rose gold bows on it, and it's not focusing. Um, but it's a, it's her skinny signature bow washi. And it has its own collection now because it's like the only 
skinny but while she there i hope she adds more to this collection and hope she does like the full range of books in this collection too so hopefully there will be added to it and of course you can't really see how pink it is because of the lights shining so the next washi here i believe is her seagrass washi if that's how you pronounce it and it has a gold foil bow on it and it's very pretty when you put it up against other colors it looks like a blue but it's a seagrass sea grass blue color this washi here is the periwinkle and it's like a deeper purple than the other one before and it has silver silver bows on it this one here is upside down too and it is her mint bow washi but it has like holographic bows on it so you can't really see because of the camera lights but it has like the colors in it are all colors see that was a good there you go and I love playing with these washies especially when you do like that and you'll do 360 to see the foil it's super neat and I love it and the last but not least one is the same pink color but it's like the bow it's not the bow it's the quilted like version so it looks kind of like a quilt it has the X's across it and it has a little heart in those crosses so I think this is really pretty and you guys know I'm not really a fan of pink but I love a washi that looks like this and I really hope that she does this washi in like several different like shades instead of just being pink I hope she does maybe like a black with the gold or another color with the gold a gray and a gold like this would be really pretty so maybe hopefully she'll come out with more washies like this the next shop that i got stuff from is pumper pumper pumpkin paper co and this is my very first time purchasing from tara i absolutely love her stickers i just haven't had the opportunity to like buy some because i see them and i go crazy and i want to buy this this that and the other but often when i try like stuff from a new shop i like to just see the quality first so i buy a small amount and so that's kind of what i did here so hers does come with a little freebie and this is what it was it's like three big size planners so super cute and then it comes with this like little card that tells you you know thank you for all your purchase and if you guys can't tell my name and her name at the bottom right here is like two not two but one letter different and I thought that was super neat because I don't know I'm a name person and if I find anyone that has my name which I've heard of someone with my name but I don't know if they spell it the same way. So I always look for names because your names are unique and you almost have the same name, which is super cool. Her order also comes with this like postcard that looks like this and has a Terra Girl on the back. And on the other side, it just has a bunch of the actions and characters that, um, characters, you know, the different like things or activities that she's doing. So that's that. And on to the actual stickers that I got. The first one is, uh, was supposed to be the sick girl, but I thought she looked like she was sleeping, so I figured I could use this for when I sleep in on the weekends or when I don't have to go to work and I can sleep in and things like that. The next sheet are these Harry Potter characters, and they just have Ron, Harry, and Hermione, and they have them, like, you know, repeating three times. And I love binge-watching Harry Potter around, like, October, Halloween time. That's what my, like, every year ritual is, to, like, binge watch all of them. So I figured once I start doing that this year, I do want to have some kind of character to mark when I watch it. So this, of course, will be a great character to watch, to mark watching Harry Potter. The next set I got was the Terra Girl with the black hair, and she's got um, some of the Pumpkin Paper Co. stickers in the background that she's laying on because she's got this big old pile of stickers. Um, I figured I could use this when I buy a lot of stickers or just have a bunch of stickers that I have laying around like now that I need to haul, so yeah. And then I've got Tara and she's planning in her like EC or Recollections or um, Happy Planner there. She's also got her planner in her hand waving her pen and then you've got some little planners down here and then the last sheet I got was Tara and she's at her computer doing some work and I always am at my computer doing something so I figured I could get this for that and also when I start back school when I have to like be on my computer so yeah I got those for that 
So this is all the stuff that I got from Pumpkin Paper Co. I can't wait to buy some more stickers from the shop. And also, by the way, if I didn't mention it, these stickers were on matte paper. I'm trying to get in the habit of saying that for every um, set of stickers I show you guys. So, so far, so good. So the next shop that I got stickers from was Little Miss Papery and you guys all know that it wouldn't be a haul if I didn't have some of LMP stickers in it so here they are. Um, her orders now come with these like journaling cards and this one says new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. So it looks super pretty and I absolutely like it. I wonder like what type of cardstock this is if that's if it even is cardstock so but it's pretty because I love the fact that it is kind of like glossy feeling but yeah it's just a journal card and then she has her planner boss collective sampler here which was a freebie and it just has a sneak peek of the birthday kit that just recently came out also got another freebie here and it just goes with the little miss collection so the first stickers that I got were from the Paradise Collection. I figured I'd pick some more stuff from this collection up because I got some of the stuff in grab, like the grab bags that I got. So I should go ahead and like formulate a full kit for it. So first, um, I have the glitter headers here, and they're very gorgeous, but they're just you know a normal glitter, but it's kind of like a more um, chunky glitter. There you go, it's chunky glitter, and it all these stickers that I got from Little Miss Papery are on matte paper, by the way. And so here are the um, Paradise full boxes, and this is the old format because this one has only two uh, quarter boxes at the bottom, but her new kits of course have like more there. So yeah, I absolutely love these boxes and I particularly love these two the most. And also like, I think these may, I'm not sure what type of leaves these are, these may be palm leaves, I think, but yeah, these are my top three favorite boxes. The next step thing I got was some full boxes from Summer Nights and I y'all know y'all know how I love like flowers so I figured I have too many flower kits yeah I have too many flower kits so I wasn't gonna try and buy this collection but I did want to get like a little bit of it so I picked up I picked up the full boxes and once I saw these I was like I just have to have more from this collection so I will be buying more from it unfortunately but that's probably not unfortunate because I love these flowers. So here you have two quotes of course and they are right there and this is in the new format so you can see that you have two rows of quarter boxes and so you get five in all. And then the last thing that I got was the Litter, Litter, Little Miss collection and it's in her new format if you guys didn't know. This one is the mini kit with like the glitter headers that you get separately so it includes a decent amount of stickers so I'll go ahead and start with what's in it so of course you get the chunky glitter headers which are super cute and then you get the mini kit like her new version of the mini kit here and this just has a bunch of like the functional icon typography stickers and you get two weekend banners and I love this one the best and you get some cool little like food things my only critique is I do watch TV every night and so instead of like tracking TV like every show that I watch I watch it every night so I track what I watch every night so I wish she did seven TVs like she does seven food things but that's okay I guess I'll be fine with it and then here you've got the um like half boxes quarter boxes sidebar stuff and like limited headers and one thing that you have here is the little things but they don't have any like icons here so you can make it up your own and I think that's super cool and then you have this big flag and I myself am not a fan of big flags because I feel like they're too big to use but hopefully I can find a good use for it the next part is the full boxes and these are the verticals I like the fact that it comes with more quarter boxes but I'm not sure as to how many quarter boxes comes on the horizontal so I'm pretty sure it still has more on it but the fact that we have more here is good enough for me and then you get another sheet with the date cover-ups, the half boxes, more little quarter boxes, and checklist. And then you get a sheet for your bottom washi, horizontal washi, like other small washi, and your deco. 
though, this is basically what her kits look like now. And in my opinion, I think they're really neat and I think they're really cool. The only thing that I wish she would have done different would be that to add more, like, of this paper in her half boxes and quarter boxes. Because if you see, she has several that are, like, solid colored. And this whole sheet just has straight up solid. So, it would have been nice to have, like, at least half of them be, like, a different, um background or like a pattern from the papers because if I wanted to use just half boxes one week but incorporate a kit I really can't use these because these are all plain so yeah but overall I really love her new idea of how she has her kits and I think this like page is is my favorite because it has a little bit of everything and it just looks so cool and you can see how well she tried to just pack everything out here and she did add some more stickers so yeah I absolutely love how she's doing her kits now. And of course that was all the stuff that I got from LMP during the PVC cell. The next shop that I got stuff from was Little Kina Prints and of course you guys know she does character stickers so yes. And they come in this like little postcard thing and she used to do like her envelope with your name on it but because people, well the post people kept you know interfering with the like name and they kept putting stamps of whatever they would put on it she stopped doing that and so she just includes this which is perfectly fine by me because I just want the stickers anyway so she did have three um, sampler freebies and I got all three well just three because I got over like a certain amount so um, yeah here's the first one it's like full boxes and they just you have two of her characters here then you've got Kanachi and Kanachi's doing like some of the different activities and then you have a co um, like a collab between Kina Prince and Soda Pop Studio which I think is super cool and it includes some of her like newer unicorn cat character stickers then of course let me go ahead and zoom in for you guys so that you can see all the different characters that I got. The first girl here is Konami and she's doing some Netflix and chillin and of course I love Netflix and chill because I've just finished watching Orange is the New Black season 5 and I wish I could have used these stickers to mark that because that finale was outrageous. Then I got Konami and she is brushing her teeth and she looks pretty tired and that's honestly me when I have to get up early in the morning so I kind of got these to mark that. I got two here of the Kanachis and she's being a night owl. She's got her computer with her coffee or her tea or in my case apple cider and she is staying up late on her computer whether she be doing some papers or doing some schoolwork, studying or whatever she's doing or just you know chilling on her computer. She's still a night owl, so I definitely have those nights, and I wanted to mark them. I picked up some, and this is kind of like folded or something, but I picked up some Lone Dew stickers, and if you guys can tell, this is a like graduation cap, and it's crying. So as you can see, this little graduation cap is crying, and to be honest, that's not how I feel right now. I'm super excited to start back paying back my loans, but I figure maybe, you know, just having a sticker for it would be super cool. And maybe one day I will eventually get tired and I may start crying just because, I don't know. I mean, right now, like I said, I'm very excited and because I'm going back to school, it kind of like sets me in a different status with my loans. But overall, I still want to, you know, get that debt away like everyone else does. So, yeah, hopefully I won't be crying anytime soon because I'm super excited about it. But, yeah, I got these anyway to market. The next sticker I got was Kanachi and she is procrastinating, she's sleeping on top of her schoolwork, and that's me sometimes during the year. I meant more times than I should do. I'm a big procrastinator so that's why I kind of got these stickers because there are just days that I don't want to do my homework, especially when it's the weekend. I like always put it off to Sunday, but yeah, this is when I procrastinate to the extreme. Also picked up some nap time stickers and they're in Konami and am I the only one that notices that when she like lays like this she kind of forms a little heart. I always see the sticker and I think oh she looks like a little heart it's so cute but yeah that's just a random side note. Either way she's still taking a nap on her like table desk thing. 
I picked up some of the BFF twin Konamis and I figured this would be good for those days that I do an activity with like me and my mom or me and someone else like my aunt or my sister or my niece or something like that. So I figured this would be cool to mark that. I got some of Konamis and I think these are supposed to um, like represent insomnia like when you can't go to sleep but me personally I don't really have that problem but sometimes I just do not feel like getting up so I will like hit snooze like 24,000 times or like have a alarm set for every five minutes so yeah I forget these could be for like waking up early because that's just how I look when I have to get up early in the morning the next sticker is Konami and I'm sorry guys I've been kind of bending these in my hand so they kind of like formed a bent shape but anyway Konami is hurrying up and I have some more of these stickers but I was running low so I got some more and I use them for like when I'm running late for something or when I want to go somewhere and there's traffic and I want to get there and then last but not least I got two of these Kanachis and she's planning like on a desk and stuff and I thought they were so pretty so I of course picked them up they also can be like when she's crafting because we all know we, like when I scrapbook or you do bullet journaling or when you do like art journaling or things like that so yeah and that's all that I got from Kina Prince the next shop that I got stuff from was Willow Walla Co and this was my first time purchasing from her and I absolutely love the little like characters that she has. I think they're super neat and cute. So I had to pick up some. But here is her like postcard. And on this side it looks just like that. So of course it's super big. But I probably will keep it for like my A5 or something. And I definitely will not be sending this to someone. <laughs> it also comes with like her little business card here. And I'm going to zoom in so you can go ahead and see her stickers and her freebie. But this is her PBC cell exclusive freebie. And it just includes like a collaboration that she did with Rainbow, Rainbow Bunny Co. And then here are the cute stickers. This one features Gertie and I'm not sure. I've been kind of trying to figure out if Gertie's a girl or a boy. Um, I don't know. So I'm not going to say like he or she. I'm just going to say they or it. <laughs> and if you do know what Gertie is put it down below so I will know for next time but this is a lazy day Gertie and they are like sleeping on a pillow and they have some slobber coming down their mouth which is me when sometimes I'm too tired and I just like fall asleep randomly the next one here I got is a family time one and I'm running low on family time stickers because I oftentimes do spend a lot of time with my family now that I'm back home so these are the Gertie family times then I got Gertie doing laundry and if you guys know I'm super obsessed with laundry. I love cleaning. I love like putting stuff up and I can't stand when like anything's not organized. So that's me when I'm doing my laundry. I'm kind of like super excited dancing and singing because I love laundry. And next I got some Louise stickers. A lot of people often love the Tina stickers but I'm not a big fan of Tina. I absolutely love Louise from the show. So any shop that has any Louise stickers I'm going to pick them up and I know that they have like three types of Louise is in this shop but I had to get just one because I don't know what I'm gonna use these for yet I'm not the type of person that gets like angry or mad often so I can't really use them for that but these are the comment ones so maybe I'll get more use out of these and then you've got three big ones up here that say yeah comment hussy but all of these are kind of blank and she has this weird looking face if you can see it and it's super funny and it's super cute so had to pick that up the next ones I got two of each and this is Rosie and this one she's what you doing so she's upside down and she's asking what you doing yep what are you doing and to me I think she looks like an anime character like from my friend Totoro or something so once I saw them I just obsessively had to get them and I absolutely love how her the color of her hair is like different colors and has different streaks in it I think that's super neat then in this one, Rosie is cold, so she's nice and toasty up under her blanket, and it says, it's cold out there, I'm staying here, which is what I say in the morning when I don't have to get up, and I'm not focusing to get up, because my room is in Antarctica, because I have an air conditioner on all the time, so I need to stay up under my cover. 
And then last but not least, I got two of the rosy no touchies or no touching stickers. And it says Netflix and don't touch me. And I'm not that way with Netflix, but I figured I could use it for that. And also just when I don't feel well or I just don't want to be bothered and I want to be in my own bubble. So I got those for that. So that is, of course, all I got from Willa Walla Co. And I definitely will be repurchasing from her. And if I didn't tell you, her like stickers are on this like matte paper. But this sampler here is a different like paper. I'm not sure if it's like a vinyl or if it's like a premium matte. It feels more premium matte to me than vinyl. So yeah, I noticed that and I just like, when I was touching them, I was like, this feels different from that. But yeah. And also, the King of Print stickers are matte, too, if you don't know. And so last but not least, I got stuff from Frank Heart Shoe. I absolutely love Wendy Shop. And I think that all the stickers that she designs are amazing. So I only got one kit for the sale. But that was only because I couldn't decide on the kit's like, design, I guess you would say. For the um, other kit that I wanted, I didn't know if I wanted to get it in like this format or like the full double box or like the full cover kit that she sells. So while I'm waiting to decide on myself, I just got this one. So it comes with a postcard here and I think this is the day that she had the postcard. So that's what I got. I thought this was super cute. It has her new like sprinkles character on it and a typewriter and it looks like that on the back. So the first things I picked up were these two sprinkles characters and this one Sprinkles is a unicorn, by the way, if I didn't say that. And for me personally, I've kind of gotten over that unicorn phase that everyone's in. But if I had to choose a unicorn, I would definitely choose Sprinkles because I think Sprinkles is really cute. And I like their version of the unicorn. But this one is Cannot Compute. And of course, you got Sprinkles on the, like laying on the computer about going to sleep. So, yeah. And I like how she does like the mirror imaging where like one row Sprinkles head is this way and the other row Sprinkles head is that way. I think that's really neat because I don't really see shops like offer mirror imagings of anything. So either way, I like Sprinkles. And then I've got Sprinkles and it's just chilling in my PJs. And I just noticed that this is actually a sticker down there, which is super cool. So yeah. But that's just chilling in my PJs. He's like chilling or he, she, they are chilling on their um, pillow. And they got some rainbow pajamas on, which is super cool. So, yeah. And then the kit that I picked up was the Stargazer kit. And this is a, like, functional kit. And I don't think she had, like, a full cover kit for this. But I wish she would come out one for the one for this. Because she did this during the month of May. She had, like, a May monthly designed up for this. But... I kind of didn't want to get it even though it was my birthday month and I could have justified getting it. I just feel like I don't use my monthly enough to like buy some stickers for it now. So I just stuck with the kit and I thought it was going to sell out or like be discontinued so I hurry up and picked up. But anyway, these are the full boxes here which are gorgeous. I love the girl that she came out with and I love the fact that it comes with some quarter boxes on the bottom. The next sheet has like your headers on it, some little limited headers, and then you got some little things here, and then you got some flags, sidebar stuff, bill dues, and small checklist. You get the bottom washi, which goes like this, and you get some half boxes and quarter boxes, and some more like diamond checklist and some flags there. Flags, they're teardrops. And then the next sheet comes with your like checklist boxes and your sidebar sticker and it also comes with some icons at the bottom. And one thing that I noticed was that these checklists have diamonds in it and these have hearts so I don't know what happened there if, if they were supposed to be intentionally like this. But it's all good. I'm still going to use them anyway. I just was kind of confused as to why they were different. But yeah. And then the last sheet here you have some glitter headers or they may be even washy. I'm not sure as to what it's supposed to be because there's not any like other washi on any other pages but yeah and you also get some date covers some more hat boxes and some like typ typography like little icons and a weekend banner and that was all the stuff that I got from Frank Hartshew.
So this is most of the stuff that I got from the PVC sale. I'm super glad that I was able to like get some sh stuff from some new shops and actually buy from old shops. And I'm super excited that some of the shops that I love to see are actually participating in the sale this year. So, well, this year, you know, this portion of the year. So I'm super excited and pumped for the next sale that comes and I probably will extend my budget for that sale because it was kind of hard to stick to budget this one. But beyond the point, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to comment down below what you liked about it or if you picked up some of this stuff as well. And also hit that like button while you're on the way down there. And also don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video and you want to see more. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye!